So this is a video about business mileage. Now, business mileage is a topic that can be very confusing. HMRC have a lot of rules in place to make sure that you are claiming business mileage compliantly. Um, and there's always a lot of questions surrounding the whole topic. So um, often our customers ask, what trips are eligible? Um, does it matter if I drive a company vehicle or my own personal car? Um, we also get asked things like, what records do I need to keep and what proof do I need to have to show that these trips were for business purposes? And of course, the big one of how much can I claim for each mile that I travel? So we're going to cover that off in this video now. So the first thing to think about is what is business mileage? So business mileage applies to any trip that you make to fulfill the responsibilities of your role as an employee. So for example, that could be uh, transporting goods, it could be delivering goods to customers, it could be going to meet customers or prospects, although we may not be doing as much of that at the moment. Um, and it also could include traveling to and from a temporary workplace. Now we'll come back to temporary workplaces because there are other rules that are in place around that as well, which I will cover off in this video. So how much you can claim for mileage as a business expense really depends on the vehicle that you travel in. Now, if you travel in a personal vehicle, the amount that you can claim depends on how many miles you've already traveled that tax year and also what vehicle you're traveling in. So the rates currently for the 2021 uh, tax year is if you travel by personal car or personal van, then you can claim 45p per mile for the first 10,000 miles this tax year. Any additional mileage that you do over the 10,000 miles, you can claim at 25p per mile. Traveling by bicycle and by motorbike, there's actually no cap on the amount of distance that you need to travel for those rates. So what that means is it doesn't matter how many miles you travel, you can still claim 24p per mile on a motorbike and 20p per mile on a bicycle. Now the good news is, if you take any passengers in your car or in your van, then you can actually claim extra for their mileage too. So for every extra passenger that you take, providing that they are going on the trip for the same reasons as you, so for valid business purposes, you can claim an extra 5p per mile per co-worker. So that's a nice bonus. Now, if you travel by a company vehicle, it's a completely different set of rules. So if you use a company vehicle, then the rates are called HMRC advisory fuel rates. And the information that's taken into account when calculating these is not whether you're in a car, a van, a motorbike, nothing like that. What they want to know is what size of engine that vehicle has and whether it is a petrol, a diesel, a hybrid, electric, and they are the factors that come into account when they give you the rates. Now, the advisory fuel rates are updated on a regular basis. They are changed quarterly. So I definitely recommend make sure you go onto the GovUK website um, to find the latest rates because, as I say, they change so frequently and um, so you need to double check what you're claiming for. Now, if you use Expend for your mileage claims, that's great because we update all of these rates for you automatically within our platform so you don't have to worry about keeping an eye on HMRC's website. So temporary workplaces. Now, traveling to a temporary workplace is an eligible reason to claim mileage as a business expense. However, there are a few rules around this. So a workplace is considered temporary if you've been working there on an irregular basis for less than 24 months. If you've been working there for more than 24 months, then it's no longer considered temporary and it would be considered your permanent place of work. Now, another rule to be aware of is if you spend more than 40% of your working week at this temporary location, unfortunately, it's no longer classed as a temporary location. It would be classed as your permanent workplace and therefore you're not able to claim any travel expenses um, on your commuting to and from that location. So as you probably already know, any uh, regular commuting or ordinary commuting to and from your permanent place of work, you cannot claim mileage as a business expense. So what records do you need to keep? So you do have to keep quite a lot of information about the trips that you take when you're claiming um, them as business expenses. So I'll just run through some of the information that it's recommended for you to store. So you need to know the date and the duration of each trip. You need to know the start address and the destination that you're traveling to. And from that, you need to know the miles that you've traveled. You should really note down the purpose of the trip and also the amount that you're claiming. So as I mentioned previously, if you're traveling in a personal car or a company car, the rates will be very different and therefore the amount that you claim would also be different. 
So if you're already using Expend, the good news is that we look after all of this for you. Um, all you'll need to do is submit your mileage claims. You can do this on the go on your mobile app, um, and I'll show you quickly how to do that. Enter a start address, so where you're going from, and then you will enter the destination that you're going to. And you'll select whether you're using your personal car or whether you're using a company vehicle. And that's it. We'll do the rest for you. So we calculate um, the journey and the distance using Google Maps. We will calculate the value depending on whether you have travelled in a personal car or a company vehicle. And we'll add the VAT for you as well. The other great news is we will automatically calculate if you go over your 10,000 miles in a personal car, which means your rates would drop from 45p per mile to 25p per mile, we have all of that built into our systems for you, so you don't have to worry about that either. So trips can also be split into multiple legs. So if you're going out for the day and you're seeing multiple clients within that day, you can actually submit each leg as part of one trip within your mileage claim, which is great news. You can also add a return journey with just one tap. You can also add notes or job numbers or client details to each claim. You can add photos of fuel receipts if you want to as well. And then you simply submit your expense when you're ready. That will go through to the financial reviewer within your business as usual, and they'll be able to review that instantly for you um, and approve that expense. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you've got any feedback or if there's anything else that you'd like us to go through in more detail, please do let us know. Um, you can reach out to us on our website or you can contact us through the platform as well if you are already an Explain customer. Thank you so much.